devotional non-duality means devotion to truth, devotion to 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 divinity as it reveals itself by truth. It means to witness the sacredness of all of life. If you treat all of life with reverence, and witness the sacredness of all of life, you will soon identify yourself as the field and not the content of the field. So that's the source of joy as we become more and more enlightened, that we begin to sense that the source of joy is our existence in this moment. It's just this moment right now is sufficient unto itself. So one gets outside of the time dimension because subjectivity does not live within the dimension of time. It just is. So we remember Ramana Maharshi says, there's no point in trying to change the world because the world that you see doesn't even exist. (laughs) It's a rejection of your own perceptions. There's no one to save. And people are always, we're affronted by that because they thought we should be doing something. So all these illusory mental states drive people into doing things, doing things about what they imagine is wrong. In a forest where a lot of the trees have been killed off by the bark beetle, what should you do with this vast forest with these dead trees? So some people say, well, we must do something about it. The fact that the tree's dead, we must cut it down. (laughs) You have to cut it down. If it's a dead tree in the forest, you leave it be. And in 20 or 30 years, it just falls down. (laughs) You don't need to do anything. So when people say that, I say, how long do you suppose that forest has been there? 100,000 years or so? Nobody bothered cutting down the dead trees over 100,000 years, so I guess we don't need to do that. So man is always interjecting himself in nature and trying to improve on that which does not need improvement, you know. To really see that, though, means to be totally accepting, totally accepting, 